Hello, welcome to crackingmba.com. Today we are going to talk about ordering and sequencing in the logical reasoning section. Some of the key concepts which we'll cover are the different types of questions we get in ordering and sequencing and how we can analyze the different conditions provided so that we can answer the questions based on those conditions. To understand this better, let's look at a sample question. So here we are given a set of conditions on the right side related to horses and we need to answer the question of which is the fastest horse. Okay, so the data provided is H, I, J, K and L are five horses in a race. H is faster than K but slower than L. I is faster than J. Also, it is known that J is faster than L. So which of the following is the fastest horse in the race? Okay, so we have provided some conditions which are defined for horses. Now, before we answer this question, let us represent this information in a pictorial manner. So we are saying there is one parameter here called speed. Okay, so when we are saying faster or slower, faster or slower, we are talking about speed. So in this question, there is only one parameter called speed, but you could have questions such as cars where you can have speed and cost. Okay, so now that we have only speed, let's try to represent the information which is given. So the first condition we are saying is H is faster than K, but slower than L. So we can represent that as L is greater than H and is greater than K. So basically H is greater than K faster than K but slower than L that is how it's represented okay similarly I is faster than J so we're saying I is greater than J similarly J is faster than L so which means J is greater than L so the question is asking which of the following is the fastest horse in the race okay now to answer this question was first we need to draw the pictorial representation as follows and from this we should be able to come up with a conclusion so here based on what we have summarized we can see that j is greater than l and l is greater than h and k in the first condition so this means that j is greater than l is greater than h is greater than k and in the second condition we are saying i is greater than j so which means i is greater than j is greater than l is greater than h is greater than k so we have identified the sequence okay now once we have identified the sequence it's very easy to answer the questions okay now what is the question asking which of the following is the fastest horse so clearly we know that I is the fastest horse in the race, okay, based on the conclusions that we determined based on the summary. Now this is a simple question, okay, just for your understanding, it's a simple question with a single parameter. Let us now see a different question where we have multiple parameters. So here we are saying there are five cars called A, B, C, D and E, okay. And A, B, C, D and E, out of these cars A, B, C, D and E have some conditions on them. Okay, and there are two parameters here. One is cost and another is speed. So what are the conditions saying? B is faster than E and cheaper than both C and A. D is the costliest car in the showroom. Speed of C lies between D and B and there are no other cars in between both D and B. B is slower than D. Okay, now just as we did in the previous slide, let us try to represent the information. So first condition we are saying B is faster than E. Okay, so we put B is greater than E. Now we have two different parameters, speed and cost. So we put the respective conditions in the respective buckets. So we are, we are saying B is greater than C and cheaper, B is faster than E and cheaper than both C and A. So here we can see A comma C is greater than B. So A comma C means it means I, one of both A and C are greater than B. But we don't know which, what is the relationship between A and C. Okay, next condition we are saying is D is the costliest car in the showroom. So we have written D as costliest. Next, speed of C lies between D and B and there's no other cars in between. So here we are saying C lies between D and B. So it could be either D is greater than C is greater than B or B is greater than C is greater than D. Now we know that there are no other cars in between. So we definitely know that there cannot be A in between D and C or A between C and D, okay? So that is definitely known. Next is B is slower than D. So D is greater than B is what we represented. Now we have read the question and summarized it. Okay, now we don't have to go back to the question because the data is all summarized over here. Now based on what is over here, we need to next come up with the graphical representation of this information. So from slowest to fastest, we put in the cars based on what information that we have. So first if you look at the speed, we are saying B is greater than E. Okay, and that so B is right side of E and D is greater than C is greater than B and D is greater than B. So we can conclude automatically that 
definitely d is greater than c is greater than d because d is greater than b so this relationship we can represent here d c and b okay so now we got this order d c b e okay based on whatever information we have but you must note that there is no a here because we don't know what is the speed of a in relation to the others so that's okay next is cost similarly we are saying a comma c is greater than b okay so we can say b is left of a comma c i put within brackets because we don't know if a is greater than c or c is greater than a next we are saying so we don't know here if a is less than c or c is less than a that's how it is so next is d d is the cost a so i put on the right side so we know for sure that d is greater than a comma c and a comma c is greater than b so this is how we have analyzed if you see the cost we can understand that there is no e over here okay so this e is missing because we don't know the relationship of e with respect to the costs of the others that is not given in the question now let us see the question and see how we can use that information that we have in the graphical representation to answer the questions so first question is it is known that d is not the fastest car in the showroom which car is the fastest car okay now we have this relationship between d c b and e and we want to understand which is the fastest car okay now we think that d is the fastest here but we know that a is missing from here and we don't know whether a is the slowest or is the fastest or a lies somewhere in between okay but one thing is for sure that d is not the fastest so it has to be a because d is faster than all the other three cars okay so definitely a has to be i have the fastest car in this because a will lie after d over here okay so that's why the correct answer is a next question which of the following cars could lie in the middle in terms of speed so i put some x's over here so that you know that we cannot put any car in between b c and d okay so if you want to see which car could lie middle in terms of speed you need to write the various combinations okay so you could find the three possible combinations a b c d e a b c d and e b c d a okay so in all these combinations the middle can either be b or a c okay so the correct option is d so given the information that you have you need to write the possible write the possibilities and then come out derive the answer next question is it is known that the fastest car is not the costliest car also e is not the costliest car which car is the fastest car okay so we are saying that the fastest car is not the costliest car okay so in terms of speed if we can see the fastest car could be only one of d or a okay d because it is already greater than ebc and a because you don't know where its position is so it could as well be the possibility so there are only two possibilities for the fastest car either d or e now it is known that e is not the costliest car which is the fastest car so if you look at the cost there could be two possibilities b a c d e and e b c d a okay so because the position of e is not known in terms of cost so from these two possibilities we can see that e is not e this option the correct answer is e b c d a because b a c d e is an invalid option because e is not the costliest car so if e, if, if, if you consider this option you will see that e should be the costliest but the question says e is not the costliest car hence the correct answer is e b c d a okay e b c d a the correct answer option is choice c okay let's look at another question so a customer wants to buy the cheaper car between a b and c which car should he go for so here we are not talking about e at all so it doesn't matter so we are just saying between b a and c we clearly know that d is cheaper than a and c we don't know if a is cheaper than c or c is cheaper than a but we know for sure that b is cheaper than both a and c so the correct answer is option b next question it is known that the fastest car is costlier than at least two other cars which car is the fastest in the showroom okay now this is a slightly tricky question so we are saying that the fastest car is costlier than at least two other cars so like we discussed in previous question the fastest car could either be d or a okay now there are two possibilities for speed either it could be e b c d a or it could be a b c d okay a could lie in the start or the a could lie in the beginning okay the a could be the fastest or the slowest so given the consideration of both possibilities of speed okay what could be the possibilities for cost 
okay the possibilities for cost could be EBACD or BCADE because you could swap the positions of A and C and swap the position of E okay the second case the costs could be EBACD and BACDE okay so in both these scenarios we are valid okay and hence we cannot determine which is the fastest car in the showroom okay we cannot say if the fastest car is a or d because both these scenarios or because the scenarios are both the scenarios are valid so we can because the option could be either option one or this option or this option uh, or dcp ea this option we the answer is or the option is option d cannot be determined in this particular question okay so your question the, the data in your question has to support what is being asked very clearly okay so that's it for this particular uh, video you can revise the topic again and attempt some of the mock tests on ordering and sequencing in our android app thank you